Imperial Building Bricks back for another video, and in this video I am so excited to be finally reviewing Yoda's Hut. So this is one of the sets that I started off by getting when I like started getting back into Star Wars. I got this at the end of 2018, I believe. That's when I started getting like back into the Star Wars kind of theme. I still had sets before then, but this was the first one. I actually uh, built this with my dad. My dad built most of the figures and a little bit of this, but... Yeah, I had to clean it a little bit. It's still a little bit dusty, but yeah, no further ado, let's actually get to the minifigures. So this is Luke Skywalker in his training outfit with Yoda. He has a nice looking t-shirt and some nice looking pants with pockets. They're nice khakis. They look really nice on him. He has a little bit of back printing and he even has this little uh, side thing, which I'll show you once I am able to review Yoda. So this is Yoda, and it is a very nice looking figure. Um, the Yoda head is the same head from the previous Yodas we've gotten, the same one from the Yoda buildable figure, UCS Yoda, whatever you want to call it. I really don't count those as UCS sets that much, but they are technically UCS. Uh, the torso is exclusive, actually. I've checked that up on Bricklink. Yes, it is exclusive to this exact set. And this figure, all in all, is a really great figure. Has some back printing, and yeah, there's nothing else to say about this. Let's move on to R2-D2. So this is R2-D2. This is an exclusive R2-D2 because he has some uh, dirt all over him, obviously. But uh, yeah, it even goes on to the head, and it kind of, you can see that kind of faintly, but it's not that easy to see it. But yeah, I think you guys can see it. Uh, but yeah, then... Uh, kind of kind of puts dirt marks all over the R2 figure and I see that as a really nice addition to this set. Now let's review the hut. So the hut build itself is pretty good I'd say. Uh, we get this little uh, kind of play feature right here which I will put to the side so I could show you once we attach it. But yeah you can attach this here and if we turn around the hut you can also attach it in the back which is very nice. And if you attach it in the back, you can kind of close up the hut and give it a whole nother new level of kind of display. Uh, there's some nice like ground area for you to kind of put your minifigures in there. Um, I find it as not enough. I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments. Do you think that's enough like room for you to kind of move around? Uh, but other than that, let's move the minifigures aside. Uh, Luke has a place where he can stand upside down on his hand and a box that he could use the force to lift up and down. It's a nice uh, little addition, I guess. I mean, it's accurate to the movie, uh, accurate to the scene. And yeah, that's really it about like the outside other than there's these nice little like areas. Let's uh, kind of open the hut up and I'll show you this at the end. But in here, there is Yoda's bed, which you can take your Yoda. Uh, I don't think you quite see it that good. But you can actually take Yoda and have him lay down. Uh, kind of show him uh, in his uh, deathbed, sadly. that's I think that's the only scene we've seen him. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, you can kind of move up the bed to kind of have some more room to play. The carrot is actually supposed to be in there, but it, it f tends to fall out. I don't know why it does that, but it just tends to fall out. Maybe we can kind of like do that. Eh, maybe that works. But yeah, other than that, to the side here, we have a nice little kind of coffee table with a pan on it. Uh, there's actually a surprise to this sort of build area. You're able to take this up and reveal absolutely nothing. Uh, I don't know why they included that, but I guess that's kind of fun, I guess. Maybe hide a lightsaber in there or something. You could just hide stuff in there. It's kind of fun, I guess. And then we have like that little kitchen area where it has a pot with a nice little uh, open flame. So the pot is not exclusive. It's We've gotten this in many uh, sets. I don't really exactly, I can't really tell you exactly what themes we've gotten them in because I've seen them all over the place. But yeah, other than that, that's really it for the interior. Let's move on to the kind of front area. The front area has a window. Uh, kind of take that off it's just held up by that I find that kind of interesting how they put the window there uh, there's also some like plants that kind of just dangle from below there and there 
And then on the roof, you can kind of see that there is a nice kind of chimney kind of built in. Take that off, you don't have to have steam coming through. But yeah, that's, or smoke, sorry, smoke coming through. And then at the top, there's like this, like kind of like just kind of crown type kind of top it off. I don't know why they did that. I think it's for accuracy, but I don't know. I don't quite remember that. But then other than that, there's nothing over here. It's just kind of just to kind of close up the hut. But over here is a nice looking play feature. So if I can just kind of lift this tripod up and you could just take Luke here uh, and his kind of thing to hold on to so he could swing on by. Just take him here, turn him around. Uh, you might want to look at it from this side. You can even put Yoda on the back, but I'm going to choose not to because it adds a lot of weight. Then from the back here, there's a little trigger, and you can just have him swing. It's a fair play feature. It does the job, if you ask me. And I wish they integrate play features like this in the future with Star Wars sets. Because stuff like this is just really accurate to the movie. Uh, other than that, that's really it for the set besides that. So this little thing, I'm glad that they included in this set. Uh, it It's a nice play feature, I will say that. And it is extremely accurate to the movie, where Luke kind of force jumps and does his tricks. So you can just take Luke and... It, it's so simple, and it's not even that many pieces. It's just so simple. You put him in the middle there, he jumps. You can even do that with Yoda. I think he does kind of like that... Yeah, he even like goes up higher because he's even lighter. Uh, of course, if you tried doing it with R2-D2, it's not really gonna work, but yeah, that's really it for this build. So let's do the final verdict. So I will rate this set a six out of 10. Uh, I know that seems kind of harsh, but that's still a good rating for a Star Wars set. The set isn't amazing, but for the $30 price tag, I see that as a pretty great deal. You are getting three minifigures if you count R2-D2, which I do. You even get a snake, I kind of forgot about that. But you even get a really nice looking hut. Uh, unfortunately, it's not complete in the back, which is why I give it that kind of harsh rating. Like if you look at Obi-Wan's hut, his hut kind of surrounds around and then you're able to open it up like a dollhouse. I like that a lot better. Personally, I think that's better. Um, so anyways, this was Imperial Building Bricks. Like, comment, and subscribe. Be notified of future videos. And peace out, guys. Bye.